Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about Justin clamps. So I'm Daniel Norton, photographer here in New York. I make videos like this about gear, technique, about philosophy of photography. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe and let's get to it. So the Justin clamp is something that's made by Manfredo, although rumor has it they're not making them anymore. I know they're a little harder to get right now. And essentially it is uh, like a, a, a clamp here with a little ball head on top with the shoe for like a flash. You've got a stud on this side uh, that is 3 8 female if you want. And then you have a 5 8 female adapter to go on like a light stand, right? So this gives you a lot of options. What it essentially is, if you take away this little piece on the top, this clamp actually exists. I mean, Frodo still makes this clamp. Um, Justin clamps are amazing. If you use a lot of small flash, you probably use them because they're super useful to put your, your tiny flashes different places. You can clamp them onto things. You can put them on light stands simply enough. You know, if you don't need an umbrella adapter or whatever. So they're super useful. People have been using them for a long time. Um, but I had actually created my own, my own, uh, one time because I didn't have a Justin clip with me and I needed one. So I kind of took some pieces I had laying around and kind of created my own. And uh, I wanted to kind of show you how I did it because since these are getting harder to get, um, you know, maybe you'll make your own. Now, I will say this has some, uh, I think, some things that make it better than the original. So maybe you want to make it even if you can find an original Justin clamp. Um, here it is. Um, this little sticker on here is because I bought it from the used department at Adorama, this piece. Um, but basically, if you look at the two clamps, right, the base is the same, right? I've got this, this uh, Manfrotto clamp at the bottom, which is the, well, I'll put all the links in the description. I think it's called 175. Okay, so that's the same, same clamp. So all that's exactly the same. There's, the main difference is the head on top. So a couple of things. If you look at the way a Justin clamp is built, um, you see this like empty spot here. Um, and then underneath the head here, there's a hole and that's how this is screwed on there. Um, this is good because it lets you grab it easier. So I do like that. But for mine, I ended up putting the, the, uh, the head back further. Um, the main reason for that is because it makes it easier to get it on and off, but you can certainly modify if you make your own to put it here, but you'll have to do it with a screw instead of what I use. So this is actually four pieces technically. Um, you've got the, I'll take it all apart and show you all the pieces and then we'll reassemble it. We can rebuild it. We have the technology, right? So. This is essentially four things. You've got um, the clamp itself, which again, I'll put a link. I think that's, it's called like 175 or something like that. Um, you've got this piece, which is actually a shoe to one quarter 20. So what this is useful for is actually to mount things like, a, I think I got it with like an LED light or something where like, you know, you slide in on the hot shoe of your camera and you can put the LED light on there. Um, you can also use it to mount, I can't show you now because I'm using it, but I have a little clamp that holds my phone. So I sometimes put my phone on top of my camera and shoot video while I'm shooting stills, that kind of stuff. So this is useful for that. And I just have it with me all the time because it's part of my clamp. Um, you can also use it to hang your camera upside down, right? So if you put this in the hot shoe of your camera, you then have a quarter 20, which you could then use to hang the camera, you know, from various different uh, things. So this is just a useful little, little uh, tool to have anyways. You could replace this with just a screw and a washer. Um, and if you did that, then you could, like I say, very easily put your head down here. So like that. There is that advantage, right? If the head's down there, it's a little easier to squeeze. I haven't really had a problem with that. So to me, it's fine. Um, I kind of like the way I have it. The second part of this is this mini tripod head. This is a 492 LCD. And actually this comes with, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a shoe, just like this one. Actually it comes with something like this. Um, cause it's designed to put on top of a hot shoe of a camera. Uh, but <laughs> unlike so many of these little tilt brackets that you get with like led lights, this holds like eight pounds. So this is a real actual tripod head. So yeah, it's a little heavier than this one, but I can, if I need to, I can take this thing and put it on something and use my tripod. Like I can actually use it as a tripod because it really is a strong enough tripod head to hold my camera. And I've done it many times, especially on super clamps. You know, I'll take this thing and screw it into the super clamp and be good to go. Um, is it the most perfect solution? Not always, but it works, right? And it, and it is, again, eight pounds is more than most cameras that I use. So totally fine. Um, nice, strong, uh, secure head. And then the final piece is just a shoe, right? So the shoe is to put a flash on. So if I'm going to, uh, you know, assemble this, I'm going to put this on top here. And, you know, then I'm going to put this through here and just screw it in. So again, that's how I did this tripod actually, just tripod head actually, I should say, comes with it's actually threaded uh, three eighths at the bottom, like most tripod heads. So I have a little adapter in there to quarter 20. 
um, which I think is also useful. You know, sometimes you can pull that out and put it somewhere. Um, so there's very there's a lot of things you can do with this. And what I what I like about building stuff like this myself is. Uh, I don't think in this case it's cheaper. I think it might actually be slightly more expensive to do it this way. Um, but what you do end up with is pieces that you can then use for other things, which I find to be tremendously useful because I'm always hacking things together. So um, yeah, it's simple enough to go buy this, but for you know maybe 20 bucks more, I built this and I have not only a stronger head, I have uh, the ability to use all the pieces independently. So I kind of like that about it. Um, the other thing you could do with this, and I have done in a pinch, um, speaking of tripods, is if I took, let's say that I went somewhere, because I always have this with my lighting kit, right? So let's say I'm just bringing my lights with me because I don't think I'm going to really use a tripod. I'm trying to be lightweight. And then I decide I want to do a long exposure. You know, now I've got to either just trust that I can hold my hand steady enough or that the image stabilization will be good enough. But if I have this, and like I said, it's strong enough to hold the camera, I can actually go like this. Let me get this. This is a standard light stand, right? And because this is, fits on the light stand, I can now put a camera on here. I mean, is this the same as have an actual tripod? Definitely not. But does it work? I mean, could I easily put my camera on here and shouldn't make a nice steady shot? Absolutely. So again, it gives me those extra options that I don't have with the original Justin clamp. So um, I'll find uh, a link if I can find any Justin clamps still. I think you can probably find them on Adorama, but I think they were back ordered or special order or not no longer available, something like that link last time I saw it. I'll find the link though for you guys if you want to try to wait for one of those. Or, you know, I'll put all the pieces to this so you guys can build your own. Or maybe build it, build it with something you have. You know, I'd love to see what kind of little clamps and stuff you guys like to build with the things you do. Um, let me know, you know, put in the comments some of this stuff. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe uh, and ring the bell to get all the new videos. And I'll see you next time.